Hi, my name is Amy. I'm one of your friendly teen librarians. And today we're going to be making mug rugs. So it's just a nice little coaster to keep your mug company and look festive. Okay, so limited quantities are available at Fairwood. So if you're interested, make sure you come and pick up today. And in your bag, you will find some glue, toothpick, fork, toothpick, tape and then you will have yarn you'll have some white yarn and two bunches of other colors and then you will also have this piece of cardboard and it's already measured out for you okay so let's get started the first thing you're going to do and i've already marked one side so you can see so we're going uh down the shorter end and we're marking every half centimeter. Um, so we're gonna do that on both sides. I already have the one side done, so we're gonna work on the other side now. Okay, so we have both our sides with notches. And what you're gonna do is you're gonna make sure you have 20 notches on each side. Now, whenever you did mark, uh, notches every half centimeters, you probably ended up with 24 notches. So that means you're gonna have to take out two notches on each side, and you wanna make sure there are only 20 notches. And you want to get them as even as possible to make it easier whenever you weave. So I'm gonna count these out. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. So I have 20 on this top side. We're gonna check this um, other side. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24. Okay, so I'm gonna have to mark out two on each side. And so now I have my 20. So I have 20 on the bottom here and then 20 on the top here. The next thing we're going to do is we're gonna create our little grid thing. Um, and our grid thing is basically showing us where we're gonna start and stop our coaster. So this, I've already drawn this for you. It is about one and a half inches across here. So we're going to do the other side. And I will repeat that this is also inches, not centimeters. So you're using the other side of the ruler. I know it's easy to get those confused sometimes. Um, so I just wanted to let you know that we're changing it up when we're going to the standard. So we've drawn our other line and you should be somewhere about four inches across. And we're pretty close. I think we're just shy, but um, that part doesn't have to be super exact. So, um, the only thing that we have to do now before we start with the yarn is we need to cut where we drew lines. So we're gonna go ahead and do that part. So the next step we're gonna do is called warping your loom. And basically we're just gonna string the yarn around it. Uh, so we will, this is the front side, um, the side that has the marks. So we're gonna take the back side now and we're going to take the white yarn and our tape. We're going to tape down, just put it in that first notch on that left-hand side. You're gonna want a little room, I would say in between a quarter and a half right here. And then uh, what we're gonna do is we're gonna string it all up and then we're gonna tape the other side. Okay, 
So we have everything strung up. You're just going to tape the other end down here, and then you're gonna cut off if you have a tail, which I have already done. I just cut it off from right there. We had about this much left, and you won't need that piece anymore. So once you have everything strung and tape on the back, we're gonna flip it to the front. And remember I said the front has the, the lines right here. And then we're gonna start with doing our stripe portion of the mug rug. So now we are going to weave our colored yarn through the weft, which remember I said it was just the white yarn, it's the backing. So in order to do that, we're going to have to take our yarn. And since we don't have a needle, we have a toothpick. This is the most helpful that I found. I tied it around um, and it didn't stay the entire time whenever I just tied it. So then you're gonna take your glue and you're gonna put a dot like this. And you'll have your glue in a um, container, a little container in your bag. So basically, you might just want to put a dot, dot with your finger and then twist it around. This is going to dry um, super strong. Uh, that's the good thing about this glue, it's tacky glue. So um, it'll just take a couple of minutes to dry. Let it dry before you start. And then whenever we do start, we're going to do an under and over, and we're going to weave throughout. Um, and then I'll show you the next part as soon as this dries. Okay, so with our dried yarn now, we're gonna take it to where our mark is, and we're going to weave and go straight across. Take your time with this because if you miss one, you will have to go back. And I like to just do a few at a time because it's easier to keep track that way. And also your toothpick isn't um, as long as a needle would be to make this easier. And so that is how is best to do it I have found because whenever you try to do six or seven at a time uh, it gets really easy to confuse where you are and to miss one okay so we have our first line down there now what we're gonna do and this is very important we're going to arc actually before we arc we're going to pull this all the way through you want to leave about six inches for a tail. And I'm just going to eyeball it because um, that should be about six inches. If you wanna measure it, go for it. Okay, and so what I mean about arc is whenever we come all the way back through, we're going to do the same thing, but we're gonna start at the opposite. So where we left off was on top. So now we're gonna go underneath. But we're going to make sure that whenever we go through, we don't pull it too tight. So we're going to go back all the way through. And remember what I said, you're only going to do a handful at a time. So I probably wouldn't do any more than five. And if it helps you to pull it along as you go, I think that helps me the most. Go for it if you want to just get it through and then pull it at the end. That is totally up to you. I found this works for me because I can keep track of it more. Okay, so we're going to pull it. And this is what I mean by arc, okay? We're not gonna pull it super tight. See how it kinda goes up? So then we're gonna take our fork, and this is called beating it down. We're just gonna push the yarn down. And we're gonna pull just a little bit more. Not too much though. I will show you what happens whenever you do this too much. You want to make sure that whenever you're pulling these through, 
you keep the same spacing, that half centimeter, because if you continue to tighten and tighten and tighten, this is my example of what will happen. Now it still looks like a cool looking mug rug, but you'll see that it kind of starts um, wider here and then it tapers in. It's got like a little waist. Um, so we don't want to do that. We want to have the full coaster um, available because if you have a bigger mug, you want to be able to put it on there. So um, we are going to string up the uh, remaining of the green yarn that we've started with here. And whenever you have about the same amount of tail left, that's where you're gonna stop. So let's go ahead and weave through the next part. Okay, so we have our first um, green stripe part right here. And remember when I said when you get about the same amount of tail to stop, this ended up being about 10 rows. Uh, so if you got somewhere around 10, that should be fine. We're gonna cut about the same amount of tail here. Okay, and then what we're gonna do is this uh, tacky glue that we had earlier, we're just gonna cut off. And that way, whenever we move on to our next color, we will be able to tie it on and glue it again. So that is the easiest way to take it off. Just make sure you don't cut your toothpick. You're only cutting the glue and where the yarn is. So it might take you a couple of minutes, but do it slowly and try to unwrap. So if you make a good enough cut, like I just did, you'll be able to unfold it. Okay, so the next color we're going to use in uh, the colors that I have um, is blue. If you don't want to do, uh, so mine's gonna end up being green stripe, blue stripe, green stripe, blue stripe. If you would rather make it blocked, if you wanna do two greens, two blues, two blues, two greens, um, that is completely up to you. But like I showed you earlier, we're just gonna tie it and we're going to glue it down and get ready for our next set of weaving. Okay, so we are all dry and instead of starting at this mark because we already have yarn there, we're gonna pick up where we left off. So it looks like with the green at the top here, we were over, so then we're gonna go under over and we're going to do that all the way across just like we did before with the green so whenever you do this you're going to see that uh, you're going to have these tails and what i mean by tails is i mean these and we are going to take care of that towards the end of the video so just leave them for now um Try not to let them get in your way because if they get in your way, then you can do all kind of uh, weird things. It's happened to me before where I accidentally wove it uh, in with the other threads. So just make sure you don't do that. And let's see, we're gonna pull through and we're gonna get just about the same amount of tail. And whenever you start, I'm sure you've noticed that it's a lot harder and it takes a lot more effort to go all the way across because you have so much arm, but it gets easier as you get towards the top. So that's something to look forward to. Uh, just remember to keep your arc um, and to beat down, but not too tight. You wanna, okay, so something, I'm not sure if you saw me do or not, but just make sure you're kinda doing this, stretching it across to make sure it's not coming in because remember I said it'll get like a little um, waste in the middle and then you won't be able to use as big of a cup. So uh, we're going to continue doing this until we have our blue stripe up. Okay. 
All right, guys, it's looking great. We're about halfway there. So we're gonna snip off our other tail. And see, we got the blue, I mean the green, then the blue. So we're gonna go back to green, but first we have to cut off our blue and then we are going to attach our green. We're going to tie it and then we're gonna glue it. And we will do the next segment once the green dries. Okay, so now that we have the, uh, the yarn that's dry on here, we're gonna continue where our blue left off and it looks like we need to go under. So we're gonna go under here and then over. And we're gonna do this all the way across like we've been doing. Pull your thread. And I also want to mention, uh, you may want to check and make sure that you're not tangling your yarn because at the beginning you do have a lot more yarn. So make sure you either have a little yarn ball or you have it off to the side. Right now I have it off to the side for me because that's easier for me to keep up with. And that way you don't get it tangled and confuse yourself there. So we'll go ahead and continue on. Okay, so we have done our second green stripe and we're just gonna snip our tail here. Like so this is what we have so far. All right, we've done about 75% of the we weaving process. And so now we're just gonna take our green yarn off and then we're gonna use our last bit of the blue. All right, so we are done with our weaving and wefting and all of the things. Uh, we have made our stitches um, go from one mark to the other mark. We have our fringes on the end. We are just going to cut off the last one. So there we go. Uh, now we're gonna take, we're gonna take our rug and we're going to remove it from the cardboard. So, to do that, very easy, we're just gonna snip it on the back. So, just make sure your scissors go through every one of the lines. So we trimmed it on one side, and remove it here. And you will be tying them off. And it may take you just a minute or two to make sure you get everything on the back. I missed one, so we're just gonna clip that one. And then we are going to remove them from all of the little notches that we have made. And our fringes are gonna be much longer on one side than the other side, but that's okay because we're gonna tie everything together. So first we're going to snip off our fringes at the end, except for the ones that are all the way on the end like this. We're going to end up tying that and snipping that off. So we're gonna to go to the next one. So if you look here, we have our little blue one that's loose here that goes with the top fringes. So we're just gonna move it to the top with them. And then we're just gonna go and we're gonna snip. Now whenever we snip, we're gonna snip as close to the coaster as we can. But before, we're gonna take our glue and we're gonna put just a little dot. And depending on where your thread is facing. You don't need a whole lot. This is probably actually too much. So I'm just gonna 
try to smooth it in there and it'll dry and then we can use that as the back of the coaster. So we're just gonna go around and put little glue dots there along the back side, what I'm labeling as the back side. You can decide where your back side's gonna be. If one side looks better or if your um, strings are mostly on one side which they actually should be alternating, so it shouldn't matter which side you use. All right, so we have glued that'll help uh, keep it secure so then we're just gonna snip and we're gonna snip close as possible snipping all the loose ones just make sure you don't snip where you snip where you we're doing your little stitches because you don't want it to come apart Okay, so we have that snipped and glued there. We'll go back and glue if we need to, but for right now, we're going to work on the next piece, which is tying the ends. Now, I'm just going to show you a very simple tie, is just the tie that you did with the toothpick. There are more um, fancy edges, like the Damascus edge or a knot fringe shown in the original post and I have that in your instructions that's on the eHow that was the original website that it came from but like I said so first we're going to take the blue and then the next white one and we're just going to loop and pull through and then you're going to take your next white one you're going to loop and pull through and you're going to continue doing that across the whole coaster on this side and then across the whole coaster on this side. Okay, we've come to the very end. So we have all of our ends tied and now we're just going to snip the lengths to where we want them. The top actually is a good length, I think, for me. So I'm gonna leave that where it is. I'm gonna snip off this blue corner there. So we took that corner off. And then I'm gonna have this side match the other side. So do that. One wanted to hang on okay and then we're gonna snip this little green guy off at the center at the center at the corner <laughs> okay and that's it this is our mug rug so um there we go i hope you guys enjoyed this video if you are interested in this grab and go uh please pick them up at fairwood soon because we only have a limited supply available have a good day